Okay, welcome back. Damn it. Good thing I just had a checkpoint. goes right through the barrel since she's already dead. Come on. Oh shit. Actually, it's good that we didn't get the checkpoint because then we wouldn't be able to get those boxes. So we had to die there. So then we would have had to go all the way back to the beginning. Oh my god. This is exactly why I hate these levels. Because it's like really, cause it's really hard to get the boxes. Well, it's not that hard if you go slow, but... Oh, let's try it. It's like the box, what am I talking about? And there's my email. Damn it. Okay, there you have to run. Just prove my own point. I don't remember if the uh, Aku Akus actually help you here. I can't remember if they do or not. Well, there's only one way to find out, so... Oh god. Checkpoint. Yeah, those dragons are really annoying. When I, was a, when I was a kid, I was actually scared of those dragons. Not only because they always killed me in the game, but also because, like, you know, you can imagine, like, you know, a little, like, four-year-old kid would be pretty scared of something like that. to take on Dingo Dial now. He's actually, um, in, the, like, because mostly when I was a kid, I didn't really play Crash games like this. I mostly played, like, Crash Team Racing and, uh, Crash Bash. So, Dingo Dial was actually my favorite Crash character. I don't remember why. I just liked him a lot, and I still do. I mean, because he's, he's just such a badass. I love his accent. Like, I don't know, I just love Australian accents. Okay, basically that's gonna be his first attack. His next attack, he will try to shoot at you. While at the same time, he will be destroying his crystal barrier. Now, you don't need to wait till he destroys every single one. You just need to find an opening and go for him. And go, and do that. But once you do, make sure you get out of there. Now, like all bosses in a crash game, he will get harder as time goes on. 
So now he is a fire ball thing, or I don't know. And basically, this will be more. He'll be a lot more precise with this part attack thing. I'm really surprised that didn't kill me. And in case, okay, now he's gonna shoot two at a time. Okay, I'm lucky. Now we're going to use Dynamite. Uh, I believe we can get the first clear gem here, but not the second one. Well, haven't we gotten far for a pair of puppy masukis? I am Dr. Nathalius Trophy, master of time and creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. And okay. so far. I'm Dr. Cortex, so sent me to end this little charade, so you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. So that's what the N in Dr. N Cortex is, nefarious, I guess. I'm just guessing, really. I really don't know for a fact. Now this is a little different than uh, the last dinosaur level, since we're not being chased by a Triceratops the entire time. Actually, when I was a kid, I watched a lot of the Land Before Time movies. I'm sure some of you might be familiar with them. If you're a 90s or an 80s kid, you probably will, you might have. But um, but anyways, like the dinosaurs in this game, I actually used to think they were dinosaurs from that movie. Since I watched those movies all the time, I have no idea what those things are. I'm guessing they're fish. Okay, you see this egg right here? gonna break it open and you get a baby dinosaur to ride. It's pretty awesome. Just don't get it killed. To be honest though it really doesn't have that much use. It's just a cool dinosaur to ride. It runs faster and jumps higher but other than that it's really not that like required really to do this level. Eventually, he just knocks you off. Bonus world. Easy as pie. Not like the original Crash game. Ugh, that game was hard.
Now, don't get stressed out immediately if you miss a box because Triceratops may destroy it for you, but there's no guarantees of that. So just give me a let me know. I guess you do have to go to the bonus world there too. That freaking sucks. Alright, we'll see you next video.